you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brick coming at you fast with another Road to Ultimate Hunter episode. Episode 5, I think, this time. Hopefully these guys are going to do this raid with me because I don't want to be all alones. Alonings and their alonings. But basically, what we're going to be doing today, guys, is a really something really easy, actually. And I decided to uh, take a change of pace, okay? I mean, lately... We've been doing some hard missions with some hard bosses, dying, raging, crying a little bit on the inside. But I decided that, hey, maybe we should take a little bit of a breather and just do a uh, level 8 raid. We're going to do the level 8 strike. So, the reason behind this is because I have a bounty where I need to complete a strike without dying. And I want it to be as effortless as possible. And therefore, I do these. I do these events in order um, let's see, okay, so that's gone. But, there's an interesting part to this, because you guys will be seeing some gameplay, sneak peek gameplay, before I even make a loot guide video on it, about my Gjallarhorn. The Gjallarhorn. As you can see, it's an exotic rocket launcher. Looks flippin' sexy as fudge berries, and we're going to be using that. In other news, I maxed out my thorn all the way. So, my thorn now does 300 damage, which is absolutely amazing. It is super strong now. But you can't have more than one exotic weapon equipped, so therefore I cannot use it. So I'm just going to use my legendary pulse rifle that I have. Oh, uh, boom, bitch! <laughs> oh, boom, bitch! I think he's really... Is he dead? Oh, he is dead. Cool. Good to know that this rocket launcher is actually strong. <laughs> That's always a good thing. Ooh, piece of candy. So, I think I want to tell a story. <laughs> I kind of want to, kind of want to talk a little bit, if that's okay with you. Yeah, hold on, let me fuck some people up. Kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Okay. So usually, if I have nothing to talk about, what I like doing is I like talking about stories. Maybe instances in my life. Maybe topics that I want to rant about a little bit. If that's all good with you guys, might make it less, less. Um, Harmful to what? I don't know. I don't know what the word I was looking for. Less harmful? I don't think we're hurting anybody besides these dregs. I mean, damn. Like, they're getting their their shit pushed in here. But something that I want to talk about, which actually has to do with college. Um, studying, <laughs> studying for midterms, okay, is probably one of the most stressful things to do. Because your professor doesn't really tell you what they're looking for. I mean, sure... You know, they give you a study guide. Uh, sure. They they give you, like... I mean, they say that everything that they say in class has a possibility to be on the test. That all makes sense. But there's so much, guys. Like, where where do you start? Even if they give you a study guide, it's always going to be misleading. Just a little bit. Because they want you to kind of figure it out on your own as well. They're not just going to be like, here, study these questions. These questions are going to be on the test. No matter what, it's always going to be these questions, so as long as you know the answer to these specific questions, you'll be good. Now, it doesn't work like that, guys. It's more like, so here are the topics that we covered. Just make sure if you didn't get them the first time. So, make sure that you get them this time, <laughs> basically, is what is what that is. So, I mean, I don't know. So, my first, w for my, my first week of midterms has passed, and... I already got a result on one of them. I've, I haven't gotten a result on another one yet. The result was pretty good. You know, it was a high B. So it was, it was not that bad for a first midterm. That was my first midterm in college ever. Pretty, pretty happy about that. But my other midterm, however, my biology midterm, not feeling so confident about, in all honesty. Uh, I mean, the test, like, I knew the material. I felt like I knew the material. But the test was worded in such a way to confuse you and I feel like I was most definitely most definitely definitely confused by the way the test was worded 
Because, for example, there would be a question like, so, so the answer would definitely be A, for a fact. Like, one of the answers would most definitely be A. Uh, but then, you know, they would have an answer like, so is it A and B? Is it A, B, and C? Or is it just A, or is it none of the above? Like, that would be a multiple choice question with five options. A, A and B, A, B, and C, <laughs> or... Uh, none of the above like it was it was like wait so what happened to b and c on their own kind of thing so it was pretty confusing it's pretty confusing so i mean sometimes it was a b c and then the answer to d was just like just a and b or just a and c so one of them didn't work or it would be all of the above so as you can see there's little room for guessing here uh and it, it's it's kind of hard because unless you know this front like front to back like you know the back of your hand or the palm of your hand, rather, or both, really. I mean, I don't really care which one you do. That's your own personal business, you kinky fucks. But, um, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's definitely difficult. It's nothing like high school. Nothing at all. Because the, the expectations they have for you in high school is on a completely different level from college. And you definitely have to be ready for those expectations. And that's usually what happens on the first midterm. People who are not ready, especially freshmen, get their asses handed to them. Which I'm pretty sure is what's going to happen to me. Yeah. I mean, I studied, I, I studied pretty well, I think, for my standard of studying, considering I never used to study, so, you know, I, I, I reviewed the material a lot, I understood it, I retained the information, everything, I had a, a, um, a pretty well understanding of it, but it required a really good understanding of it, and what am I getting at with this story, guys? So, basically, well, one, don't, don't get caught with your pants down when you're in college taking a midterm. That's number one, most importantly, right? Uh, number two, you always got to be prepared, guys. Be prepared for whatever you're about to do. That's basically what I'm trying to get at with this with this topic here. That's usually, if you're not familiar with how I talk about these things uh, from Black Ops 2, if you weren't here from the beginning like, like a true pioneer, that's all good. If you join me around the time of Destiny, that's perfectly fine. I really appreciate it, guys. I love everyone just the same, equally all around for peace and prosperity and four scores 17 years ago. I don't know, Abraham Lincoln kind of thing. But it's it's definitely it's definitely a good life lesson to have and that's usually what I do. I try to I try to pull pull teachings from life lessons, even if they're funny, you know, even if they're kinda like like what the hell? Like they're not supposed to be all that serious. Uh, the midterm is kinda serious. But anyway, be prepared, guys, is all I'm trying to say. Always be prepared, because if you're not prepared, you're going to have a hard time. You might cry a little bit. You might, I don't know what you might do, but it won't be it won't be fun nonetheless if you're not prepared for something. For example, we were trying to do the raid with our buddies here earlier, and it was awful because people were not ready for it. They were definitely like, oh, yeah, let's go do the raid. And then we did it for two hours, dying over and over again on the last boss. We figured it out, it's just nobody was doing what they were supposed to do. So, that's why that turned into something that it shouldn't have. Oh my god, I missed. Holy crap. Wow, I missed twice. I missed twice. What is wrong? What the hell? Oh crap. Hello, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. I just have to make sure that I don't die. I really don't care if I miss or not. I just have to make sure I don't die. Is dying or staying alive is very important. We don't want to get too close to him because he's going to use his grenade attack, which is always really annoying. Yeah. So I've noticed these guys spawn every time you get the guy's brain open or the guy's core open, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> I would say it, it's rather annoying. So we're almost done with the devil walker. I know there hasn't been too. Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> there hasn't been too much excitement. It's only level eight strike. I am kind of doing this just to do it, really, uh, just to get this bounty of mine done. And I'm actually on my way to another exotic bounty. I already know for what it is. It's for a shotgun, by the way. So stay tuned for that. Once I get that done, I'll definitely be showcasing a shotgun. The shotguns are pretty damn cool. It's 
Speaking of shotguns, lol. So let's go take on Sepix L Prime. So make sure guys, so comment down in the comment section below. So this is the reason I did this so randomly, why I made this initiative. This initially was supposed to be a completely interactive experience with you guys. Like you guys tell me a mission or you guys tell me a strike to do, or play some crucible or something. You guys tell me, not not oh you can you can do this, you can do that. Like be like you should do this or you should do that kind of thing. So the next episode is based off of a public consensus. That's usually how I wanted to structure this in the first place. You want to make sure that everybody has like a, a, a decent fair chance to vote and those who don't vote just don't. I mean, I guess, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I want to make episodes for what you guys want to see. Maybe you want to see a certain strike. Maybe you want to see the raid. I don't know. The raid is kind of hard because I haven't even beaten it yet. Because everybody that I play with has the patience and the attention span of an elephant. So, it's it's kind of it's kind of difficult. Uh, we got annoyed really easily. <laughs> so, it's just like, whatever. It's, it's, it's okay. We don't, we don't really pay attention to that. I should switch over to my sniper, actually. Guys, using your, using sniper rifles at this part is very, very good. Because the snipers, they do the really good damagings. The damagings are very damaging, and yeah. Also, another tip, if you're having trouble with this for some reason, or at higher levels, just stand back here in this doorway. It's really, really easy. If you stand back in this doorway, you can snipe them. You can still deal a lot of damage, and there's always vandals and a captain that spawn to the left of you. Do they spawn? No, that was just a vandal and a drag. Screw those guys. And just snipe him from back here. His health bar is going down so quickly when you're sniping the shit out of him. Let's use this Gjaldar horn more. I mean, this gun is just so sick. Like, I don't, I don't really use rocket launchers too often, but when I do, I use the sexiest looking ones, right, guys? That's that's what we do. Please don't. Okay. So if you're gonna move, do that. No. Okay, good. I dealt the damage. Let's do this. <laughs> You're dead. Oh wow, I missed that. That was awful. I was gonna get a direct impact. Now I gotta wait so I don't die. That was awful, actually. Aim at the ground, guys. Using rocket launchers, aim at the ground. It works. Don't don't miss with your rocket launcher shots. Holy crap. Hello, Shepix. Lovely weather we are having. Can you just die already? We're about to beat the strike in less than 15 minutes. There you go. Boom headshot. <laughs> also, um, would you guys like seeing maybe simultaneously or alternating? Like have a have a Road to Ultimate Hunter video one time and then having a... Um, oh, this guy found a request. Oh, so he was doing the same thing. Um, would you have me alternating with a Titan? Maybe doing just a hunter. Uh, let me know, guys. Let me know. That'd be really helpful. And also make sure to tell me what you would like to see in the next episode. Maybe some particular weapon to be used. Maybe some challenge of some sort. I don't know, guys. Just whatever. Be creative. This is revolved around you. This channel revolves around you, what you guys want to see. So help me out. And uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Look at me. Always on top of the leaderboards. That's just how I roll. Look at that level 6 gear. Mmm, that's so good. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support on these Let's Play videos. Basically, that's what they are. They, It's just, this is the first time I've had a Let's Play series kind of work out for me. So, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. Thank you all so much for the support. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.